Hi everyone, I'm Linda Reimer, one of the librarians at the Southeast Bend County Library. Welcome to Library Connections, our readers and listeners advisory video cast. Enjoy. Library Connections number 139. This is the Friday, April 7th, 2023 edition of Library Connections. Kicking things off with the top five fiction bestsellers for the week from the New York Times. At number one, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. A fictional oral history charting the rise and fall of a 70s rock band. At number two, It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. In the sequel to It Ends With Us, Lily deals with her jealous ex-husband as she reconnects with her first boyfriend. At number three, Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. A scientist and single mother living in California in the 1960s becomes a star on a TV cooking show. At number four, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. A battered wife raised in a violent home attempts to halt the cycle of abuse. And at number five, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. A movie icon recounts stories of her loves and career to a struggling magazine writer. Moving on to the top five nonfiction bestsellers for the week. At number one, Outlive by Peter Adia with Bill Gifford. A look at recent scientific research on aging and longevity. At number two, The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. How trauma affects the body and mind in innovative treatments for recovery. At number three, Poverty by America by Matthew Desmond. The Pulitzer Prize winning author of Evicted examines the ways in which affluent Americans keep poor people poor. At number four, Spare by Prince Harry. The Duke of Sussex details his struggles with the royal family, loss of his mother, service in the British Army, and marriage to Meghan Markle. And at number five, Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zahner. The daughter of a Korean mother and Jewish American father and leader of the indie rock project Japanese Breakfast describes creating her own identity after losing her mother to cancer. Our first recommended read for this week is the new novel Dust Child by Q Mai. Acclaimed Vietnamese activist and best-selling writer Q Mai draws for her second novel on interviews and research to explore the lasting effects of the Vietnam War, particularly on the children of American servicemen and Vietnamese women. Abandoned at birth and ostracized as a dark-skinned Amerasian, Fong is desperate to prove his parentage so that his wife and children will qualify for immigrant visas and a better life in the U.S. Meanwhile, American veteran Dan has reluctantly returned to Vietnam with his wife, who hopes the trip will help with his debilitating PTSD. Dan undertakes a clandestine search for Kim, a Vietnamese bar girl whose pregnancy he knew about but never acknowledged. Q Mai adeptly balances these contemporary narratives 
with Pong's early experiences and the wartime story of sisters Trang and Kuhn, who seek jobs in Saigon, but are quickly ensnared in the shadowy world of nightclubs and sex work. There are no clear heroes or villains here, as characters' actions and choices are shaped by their circumstances and the war's legacy. And that's the Bookless Review. Our second recommended read for this week is the new novel The Lonely Hearts Book Club by Lucy Gilmore. Gilmore knocks it out of the park with this passionate love letter to books, showing literature's power to offer solace, understanding, and human connection. When frail but formidable, former literature professor Arthur fails to show up at the library as usual, librarian Sloan, who recognizes him as a kindred spirit, despite his cantankerousness, correctly guesses that he's sick and refusing help. Sloan pushes her way into Arthur's home, and his neighbor Maisie, part-time nurse Mateo, and grandson Greg soon follow. The five protagonists tell their story in consecutive narrations. Sloan is grieving her sister and engaged to a man she doesn't love. Telephone psychic Maisie struggles to connect with her teenage daughter. Charming but listless Mateo can't commit to a job or to his boyfriend, and Greg's fulfilling his mother's dying wish of reconciling with his estranged grandfather. Drawn together by Arthur's illness, they form an unlikely book club, bonding over the remains of the day, the Joy Luck Club, and Anne of Green Gables. While there's a hint of romance between Sloane and Greg, the real love story here is with stories themselves. Gilmore's complex characters jump off the page, and readers should have their handkerchiefs ready for some cathartic tears. This is a treat. And that's the Starred Publishers Weekly Review. Our first audiobook recommendation for this week is the rom-com Right Girl, Wrong Side. This is brand new by Ginny Baird. The audio is read by Carla Serrato. The Hatfields and McCoys get an update in this delightful rom-com from Baird. Evita Mikado has been procrastinating telling her big, tight-knit family that she broke up with the boyfriend they all loved. And now, it looks like she's going to have to break the news on family vacation. That's soon the least of her worries, however, when their Nantucket beach house is accidentally double-booked and the rowdy Mikados find themselves sharing it with the stuffy Hatfields the family of Evita's mother's fiercest business rival. Youngest son Ryan Hatfield has had a soft spot for Evita since they were lab partners in high school chemistry class. And those feelings come flooding back now that they're back in close quarters. Their chemistry is palpable, but they'll have to work together to settle their family's feud if they're going to give their attraction the chance to bloom. Baird delivers a cast full of three-dimensional characters that readers will be happy to spend time with, and the vivid Nantucket setting adds to the charm. Readers will fall in love right along with the hero and heroine. And that's the Publisher's Weekly Review. Our second audiobook recommendation for this week is the new Hester Fox novel, The Last Heir to the Blackwood Library. The audio is read by L. Potter. For this atmospheric historical fantasy, 
Fox Splints the Paranormal, Light Romance, and Faintly Gothic Sensibilities. In 1927 London, Orphan Ivy Radcliffe, daughter of an American socialite and a British scholar, is shocked to be named the heir of a Yorkshire estate, Blackwood Abbey. A grand, albeit dilapidated manor, complete with an aloof staff and the library of Ivy's dreams. Books have always been her passion, and the library provides a welcome refuge from her new circumstances, including a very insistent suitor, Sir Arthur Maybury, who shares her literary love, though is perhaps a bit more interested in her library than he is the woman who owns it. Indeed, the library guards a secret. And Ivy soon finds herself forgetting conversations and losing time, a fact that becomes especially apparent around broodingly handsome chauffeur Ralph. Immersive historical detail and a gripping, intricate plot combine to plunge readers headlong into a rags-to-riches tale laced with betrayal and intrigue. This is a treat for bibliophiles. And that's the Publisher's Weekly Review. Want more reading, listening, and viewing recommendations? Check out the Tech and Book Talk blog and the back catalog of Library Connections videos. The Tech and Book Talk blog is found online at ssctech.com and you can access the Southeast Bend County Library's YouTube videos by simply going to youtube.com and typing a search for Southeast Bend County Library. On to our next section, next week at the library, we'll take a brief look at events and activities hosted by the library for the week ahead of us. And on a registration note, registration is required for programs unless otherwise specified, or unless the program is of the online on-demand variety, in which case, of course, please help yourself. You can register for programs through the library's calendar of events, which we'll take a look at in a second, or by calling the library at area code 607-936-3713. And alternately, you can just plain drop by the library and tell us you'd like to register for our program. So here we see the Southeast Bend County Library website found online at ssclibrary.org. If you look towards the top of the screen, towards the middle of your screen, it says Calendar. We're going to click or tap on that to get to the library's calendar of events. And by default, the calendar that displays is this month's calendar. Let me make it a little bigger. So this is the April calendar of events. And if you look under the text here, it says Program Key. There are really tiny little arrows that will let you go forwards or backwards. I'm not sure why you'd want to look at the March calendar of events, but you might want to look at the May calendar of events. And a highlight certainly is going to be the Friends of the Library book sale, which starts on Saturday, May 6th and runs through the 13th of May. But as it's still April, let's go back and look at the April calendar of event. As noted in the Program Key here, Events listed in red are for adults. Those seen listed in blue are for kids. Ones in green are for young adults. And programs for anyone of all ages are seen listed in pink. So to register for a program or learn more about it, you click or tap on the title of the program. And I have one in mind here. There is an LSC author talk on the 27th of April. This is an ongoing series available online for free to everyone. This particular LSC author talk is with William Kent Kruger. He's the best-selling author of the novel Fox Creek, which is the latest novel in the Quirk O'Connor mystery series. He's written other works, including Ordinary Grace, which have been top-notch. And if you scroll down, you'll see a little synopsis of what the plot is about and a nice picture of William Kent Kruger or whoever the author of the month is. And in the middle here, it says you can register for this talk here. 
free talk here. You click or tap on here, and we get the list in this case of upcoming speakers for, I keep saying LSC, that stands for Library Speakers Consortium. These are the talks that are upcoming, and you can see more and register by clicking the link under each description. And once you've done that, say for the William Kent Kruger talk, you have the option to both register for this talk and view past event recordings. So if you missed an author talk, this is where you access the video. So say you wanted to then watch the author talk with Kate Beaton that was held on Tuesday, May 4th. I'm sorry, that would be Tuesday, April 4th, because we're still in April. You click on the title, and there's the video. You just click the arrow in the middle to play the video, and you'll get the whole hour and 11 minutes in one second. So that's pretty darn cool. And so now I'm going to go back to the calendar of events because the one other thing I should show you here is the option to search which is underneath the calendar. So if you wanted to know for example when the Scrabble program was because we do have a weekly Scrabble program you would enter that and it will give you the list of Scrabble Club events in April and say you want to know more about any of them, you just click on the title, and it takes you directly to the informational and registration page. And that, in a nutshell, is how you access and register for programs through the Southeast Bend County Library's website. And that's the program for this week. And just a heads up, the next Library Connections video will be coming out in late May. We are transitioning to a monthly video cast. I'm going to spotlight the new popular books coming out in the month ahead of us that the library will be getting. And then if you want one and it isn't in the catalog yet, you'll be able to send me an email and I will put you on the holds list as soon as the books come in. So moving forward, a monthly Library Connections video cast spotlighting new and popular books coming out in the month ahead of us. See you in May.